A year from now, I see myself in the UFC. I think success is defined by how much joy you have in your life. That's how you measure your success. Get it in like the first and the third, even when I know them haters. I was told that, you know, if you work hard, you know, the fight will come easy, everything else will come easy. Every time I wake up, you know, I see where I used to be at, you know, living below standards, um, coming up and, you know, I have no choice but to fight, you know, fight for my livelihood, fight for what's right. I do more than just fight for myself. It's, you know, I, I've never been a selfish person. It's always, I always feel like. As far as the fighter, uh, he's growing all the time. He's a great wrestler to start with, but he's just like reworking really hard to add all the wrestling tools to it to become a big package. I know he's like a little concerned about making sure he can be the best fighter he can be. And it's going to take him far. So how, how far do you think he's going to get in the sport? Limits as far as he wants to work, and right now he's working to get to the top. He keeps working the way he's working now, and he's just said he can't get there. Nothing will stop him other than how much he wants to work now. <laughs> I'm Steve Arms, American Top Team Atlanta. We're talking about Kendrick, big problem, Myron. He's going to be a UFC champion. Um, no weaknesses, really, and any that he does have, I definitely wouldn't tell you guys. And we're definitely going to get rid of him and tighten him up. But he's a problem. Um, coming in, he fights at 205. He can fight at 185. Um, Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, wrestling, grappling of all sorts, and of course, mixed martial arts.